Good afternoon everybody, we're joined here today by manager Stuart Mellish. Uh, Stuart, you've just seen the side drop out the FA Trophy today, 3-0 defeat um, on the road here uh, today at Marsk. Long day, long way to come against a tough side. Um, what, you, what are your initial thoughts after that? Um, a difficult afternoon, they're a, they're a real good side. I watched them Tuesday at Chester. Um, beat Chester 4-0 and uh, played really well and, and it was the same side. I uh, thought they made, might have made one or two changes, but they didn't. Um, and it was difficult. Um, but we fought really well, to be fair, and it really competitive. You know, nil nil after 30 minutes, I was delighted. And then one silly mistake, not staying with runners, and we go one nil down. And then the heads drop a little bit, put pressure on, and right in half time again, another really sloppy goal, to be fair. So we've come in at half time, two nil down. Listen, they're the good side, they've had the majority of the play, but we're still in the game. Uh, we come out second half, I made three substitutions at change just to freshen up a little bit, particularly the middle of the park, get some more legs in there. And then, uh, you know, we sort of come into the game a little bit more. Um, listen, they still have chances. But, you know, we've come away from home getting beat 3 0. And, you know, I don't like saying it, I'm getting fed up by saying it to be honest with you, but, you know, you've watched the game yourself then. We've had three one on chance, three one on ones against the keeper from seven yards out, and we've missed them all. And goals change games, and you know, yes, they had 70% of the play, but do we take them chances? It's 3 3. We're going into penalties now, direct yeah. straight into penalties. And that's football, that's how it can change. So we've got to take our chances, that's what's disappointed. But I'm, disa I'm um, you know, disappointed in relation to the chances that we've missed. But you know, it was a, it was a spirited performance, to be fair. We changed the system, went three at the back, uh, and it went, it done okay, to be fair. This did a good side. The very, very good side, and it was always going to be a difficult afternoon. But um, frustrated, we didn't take the chances, and it may have changed it a little bit. But overall, they were, they were by far the better side. How much today do you think it's sort of half half us not le learning learning the mistakes from previous games, and, and half you know we have to give credit to the opposition today? Yeah, listen, they, they were they were the, the top quality, the front three, the midfield four, the two centre halves, and the two wing backs at all. You know, they're all really good players, um, and it and it was difficult. Um, but yeah, you know, we're still making individual, individual mistakes, which is frustrating. Um, but I did like the way that we um, went into transition from a three to a five. I thought it worked quite effective at times. Just the second half, we created the chances that we created. Um, but yeah, we've just had a little chat uh, regarding individual mistakes, and that's got to that's got to improve. Talking of game-changing moments, there was the, the, the handball incident. Uh, we looked look like it was in the box from the away dugout here in the second half. Do you think it was handball and, and could, it, you know, could it have changed the game from there? Well, the third goal, apparently the linesman said that it was a penalty, which they scored from, but the, the linesman flagged for the penalty. So it was a penalty to them, but he's, given, he's played advantage and give the goal instead of a penalty, which, which is news to me. Um, it was a penalty, it's a penalty in the story. Uh, and then two minutes later, it's, a, it's, it's nailed on penalty. Isn't it? Nailed on penalty. It's frustrating. Listen, I don't want to make excuses, but it's a nailed on penalty. The ball's bobbled up. The centre half is going past him. He stuck his arm outside of his waist to stop the ball getting in. Two two. I think it's Bevan or Jamal. It's a penalty. But you don't get things up here at the northeast here. Things don't go your way. You know what I mean? You know, a big crowd, quite intimidating. Um, yeah, it's a tough one. But listen, it's one of them where I just said, and they'll learn a lot from today. A, a real lot individually uh, in terms of what they were about and what they were like because they, they, they had a very good side as I've seen on Tuesday. Um, obviously we knew they were a very uh, intense outfit today. Um, you, went with, you went with quite an attacking set up here, we weren't going to come here and park the bus. Um, you know, did you stand, stand by that decision at the Absolutely. start of the game? Listen, I could have gone four or five at the back and gone, do you know what, they're really good. Let's just sit in, give them conceived possession and then let's just put the tin, out, tin helmets on and let's just, you know, fingers crossed. But I didn't want to do that, I said no, let's go up here and let's match them. They went three up the top, I went three at the back, you know, and let's let's win the ball in the middle of the park. Um, and we did for 30 minutes, it was it was end to end to be fair, um, and was in the game. But two sloppy mistakes, not sticking with runners, it cost us a potential down at half time. But listen, I wasn't going to come up here and uh, sit and defend and watch have a goal and then, li listen, second half, as I said to you, you know, during the game as I spoke to you, we've had three one on one chances. And I can't cast, I sort of rubbed it in in the changing room. We've had three chances one on one from seven yards out and we've missed all three. Goals change games, it's frustrating. Um, 
but we go again. <laughs> Safe trip back, Stuart, and uh, we'll cut, speak to you next week. Lovely, thank you. Thanks again.